Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have part two to the same problem we did in the previous video. And again, we have to be very careful if we want to get the right answer. It's not a difficult problem, but it's a tricky problem. So here, let's read the problem again, just to remind ourselves what the problem was about. A pendulum consists of a bob of mass 0.1 kilogram and a massless, inextensible string of length 1 meter. It is suspended from a fixed point at a height of 0.9 meters above a frictionless horizontal floor. Initially, the bob of the pendulum is lying on the floor at rest vertically below the point of suspension. A horizontal impulse is imparted to the bob at some instant. After the bob slides for some distance, the string becomes taut and the bob lifts off of the floor. The magnitude of the angular momentum of the pendulum about the point of suspension just before the bob lifts off is j kilogram meter squared per second. And in the previous video, we were able to find the answer. It was 0.18. The next question is, the kinetic energy of the pendulum just after liftoff is k joules, and we're trying to find k. Now here, let me tell you why you may make a mistake if you're not careful about doing that. You realized in the previous video that after the, the uh, at the previous video for part one, when the impulse was imparted on the object, the velocity was equal to, uh, let's see, I think 0.2, it was equal to two meters per second. And you may mis make the mistake of thinking that will also be the velocity at this point, but it's not. And that's where you want to be careful because after all, you know that kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared. And so that would be one half times 0 0.1 times two squared. That would be a 0.4. That would be equal to 0 0.2. And of course the units would be joules. And that would be the wrong answer. So that is not the right answer because V is not equal to two meters per second after the stream becomes taut and it's forced to go around in a circular motion path. All right, so what we need to do instead is think of it this way. We need to say that the kinetic energy is going to be equal to one half I omega squared. And we need to find the omega after the bob leaves the floor. All right, a tough point. Hmm. hmm, how do we do that? Well, we have the, uh, the angular momentum equation, well, L is equal to I times omega. And notice that we knew what uh, L is, right? We know the angular momentum, we calculated was 0 0.18, so that's a known quantity. We know that I is equal to mR squared, so we can find omega. Omega is equal to L over I, and that can be substituted back in here. So that means our kinetic energy equation now becomes one half times i times omega, which is L over i, but of course we have to square those. That means that this i cancels out with that i, and we end up with one half L squared over i. And so that would be one half times 0 0.18 squared divided by i, which is mr squared. Okay, now, what is mr squared? So we have mr squared is equal to 0 0.1, and the radius at that point is one, so it's simply squared, of course, and so this is simply equal to 0 0.1. So we get 1 half times 0 0.18 squared divided by 0 0.1. Okay, so this is equal to 1 half times 18 squared, that's uh, 3, 2, 4. We need a 0, 0.0 in front of that, divided by 0, 0.1. So that's equal to 1 half times 0, 0.324, which is equal to 0, 0.162. And so that's the answer we're looking for. It's not equal to 0 0.2 joules, it's equal to 0 0.162 joules. And since they only want the first two decimal places, we write 0 0.16 joules as the answer for kinetic energy. So it is very easy here to make the mistake, to think, oh, I know what the velocity is over here, so it's simply one half mv squared, but that's not the correct answer. Some energy is lost as the stream becomes taut and begins to swing around, and therefore the kinetic energy is only 0 0.162 joules, and that is how it's done.